Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. So, last time we ventured to Jack Daw's tomb and discovered the secrets that were within a bunch of spiders and there was a map chamber that had old Professor Bumblebore uh, in it and we had to go take back the book when Professor Fig comes back. In the meantime, I learned how to fly as well, and we had Professor Sharp's assignment, which I completed off camera. Uh, basically, I did consume a couple of potions at the same time, and consume one more, I think it was a focus one. Uh, it was the Maxima and Erdus potion, I do believe I had to consume at the same time. Basically, just equip it L1, and before the time runs out on the first one, consume the other. That's all you have to do. So be able to land the pulse which is where i am at the minute i'm at professor sharps after completing those and while i was traveling to hogsmeade to get some of the things it looks like we had a couple of other quests come up firstly uh mr sebastian wants us to go to the defensive dark against the dark arts it looks like we will learn confringo which i think is another attack and then professor weasley wants us to meet us meet us in the astronomy tower looks like we're finally going to get the room of requirement also managed to pick up a broom skin as well while I was in Hogsmeade, but let's kick on and learn the pulso. Set yourself down, get a cup of tea, get a brew, chill out, relax, and let's be all wizards and witches together, shall we? So we're going to learn the pulso, which will be good, if, if especially if you've got that as a as a backup if, if you're waiting for spells to uh, cool down and things like that you can just throw enemies away to allow them to cool down and then you can go again so how are your assignments coming along I completed your assignments professor good you should be ready to learn to pulso let's see what you can do concentrate do not let your mind wander go. Unnecessary minigame completed. So that's where it could, could be useful because... You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. <laughs> I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. So if I want to equip these... That you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. That's cool. So we've got stuff to attract them and there's stuff to push away. Excellente. Right. Next thing. Who are we gonna see? I say we go see Sebastian. To learn Confringo. Where is the defense against the dark cars? Let's get there. I'll need to have a proper sit down and look at all the spells and try and work up what's going to be good for the first set. Because I don't know how you flick. To the next set. Maybe we'll figure that out. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. <laughs> I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. Head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. Huh. 
Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry okay. for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside <laughs> of the castle. Oh, you're a rebellious old beauty, aren't you? Right. Where's this quest? Huh? Revelio. I am confused. Ah, this is me just getting ahead of myself and I should have just done... It's not actually in the classroom. Fantastic, good job. How nice to see you, my young friend. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Ooh. to Findo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Mm. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Are you sure about that? This way. Secret There's a secret room? passage just here. It's well disguised. I'm sorry, but a big awkward clock just in the corner. <laughs> And the professors don't know about it? Sure. <laughs> How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf so With my sister. Rebellion. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please. Keep this between us. He never confided in me. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Don't worry, I'm we just still in the stuff. Almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind. And no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes. 
and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. I would agree with to that. be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Excellent. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Incantation is Z minigame. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Confringo damage, a long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage. During which time collision result in sendry burst. I'll take it there for now. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find Good for you. Nice work. How's it feel? It's tough. That's it. I think I've got it. Fun. Well done. Don't know why that'd be banned. I have to say, it's just a long range I enjoyed fireball. that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Anne Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. It's like the very day. Like the you, you, you have retreat. like have visions in your head time. of like a magician doing magic it's tricks and that's like it. I'm sorry Long about Long range bit of fire just fired an out of a wand. I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. Mm. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Yeah, no, no, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague Shut an up. answer. Shut up. I trust you. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. On. Not ready, attack. <laughs> Severe case of don't trust anyone. Oh, who's we in here? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh, no. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. 
Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Uh oh. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection Ooh, if I need hell? to. Look at me in my precious little room. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Oh, shut up, Ominous, you. I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Fucking oity toity. Sebastian is going to get an earful about oh. this. See if he can hear me just freaking run away. Right. Oh, died in key. Be right back. We are going to go to quest. I assume the next one. Oh, what's Professor Defindo? Cry and use an invisibility potion and cry as a thunderproof potion against enemies. I will do that off camera. For now, let's go see Professor Weasley. Get ourselves room of requirement. Let's do this. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh yes. The room of requirement. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh, you're a gent. Oh, she loved that. She want a little, little look at Professor's wiggling hips again, don't you? Cheeky. Right, so what can we conjure in here? Because I know we, we've unlocked stuff to, I think, design it, but... Cool. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use Deek. the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, Ooh. the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Goody. I wonder if this gets any harder. <laughs> Splendid. Now. So this is all. About the transfiguration. Oh, Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. That's good. Cool. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. The size of this room, it's insane. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? What's this? Is that Goodness, my old school bag. So you were I wonder where that's a top two. A and T. Can't believe it's still here. 
I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Come on. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sweet. Love how it's a whole room, but yet we are uh, channeled into very small corridors. Oh. Oh, that's uh, oh, my mate. Oh, cool. We can jump up here. To get free loot. Blue flat cap that I can sell. Just a slide. Whee! <laughs> Cup of the good stuff. This is just a corridor a requirement at this rate, looks. not a room. <laughs> An intruder! Stop them! You'll do oh, nothing. That's not helpful, you well-lit pile of tin. What's this? Oh, it's this fancy, fancy trees. <laughs> but I found the room, so I needed a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Rebellion. Did I miss that chest? Hang on a minute. Oh no, that's the uh I missed that bag though. How does one get How does one get to that? Do I have to... Now I'm distracted. I'll come back for that. A waste of time. This is, this is how games take me so long to complete, because I get distracted by meaningless things like that. Be like three coins. Enough. Right. Through the corridor of requirement we go. That's pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? They don't. Revelio. What was that? What? Was that a golden stitch? Oh uh, yeah. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio. Revelio. Oh, wait. I mean, I can go under here and get some stuff. It's not a chest I can open. I go up and over. How does one go through? Rebellion. Wait, maybe I do. Was worth a try. <laughs> oh, I'll come back. Again, I'm wasting time. I 
let's go find this uh, little house elf, shall we? I'll solve these puzzles later. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, hello. Oh, the flu powder. Network's in here. Excellent. There he is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned Aww. you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Look at my cheeser. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Uh. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. <laughs> That's good, because I've got a couple of things that need identifying. Crimson and Secret Solver's Nightmare. Cool. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Ah. Uh, so, well, first things first. Not that. Not those things. What did I? There's a nightwear and no. Must be these. No. Is it both of these things? Crimson Mystic Ensemble. Secret Solver's nightwear. Can <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. Let's. <laughs> I can't wear that. Let's just put it to that. Sure. Uh, that's cool. It's got increased damage to ancient magic throw. Oh, it's already got a trait slot in it. That's sweet. That's cool. Yes, Professor? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. <laughs> it will. I hope Been you'll take it. advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. 
I'll teach you. Conjuring. I wonder what we'll need that for. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Mm -hmm, you like should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and done. easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and ah, that's the cool. So I'll be able to go to this room and just do table. what I need. This is my own personal both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Excellent. This is good. Conjure a pot and table. Right. Excellent. Uh, Gothic table with a small pot. How do we unlock all these? Oh, we need to go to tomes and scrolls. Cool. What vibe are we feeling? Botanicals. I'm a man of science. Make this. Can we rotate? Huh? And Let's try to get this next set of squares. Okay, okay, okay. Station there. Oh, can we Perfect. You can use these whenever you need to brew That's awesome. or grow plants. You just go to one room and be able to do all of this. Seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I'm going to play a bit with this later. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good My deal of experience, remember. both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Hmm. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. So basically, if I've got the sets, the different sets that I can use um, of spells, sets of four, you could just flick between around having to apply and take off certain ones. You can just flick to each set. So I think I'm going to do that. I will be sure to speak with Deke. If set I that off. Anything. Set it up. Thank you. Good recording. luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. So we can set our wizard and portrait. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. 
Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I have got so much. You can much. acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. This is where my exploding has uh, come in useful to you save me this more than fetching. and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. What else to be got? Hmm. Lovely. Clever. What else have we got? Nice. What else do we have? Quidditch board, cool. Right, floor stuff. Scientific war over the scientific rugs. Furniture. Scientific ornamental. Standing light. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Yes, it's going to be just to have all the transfiguration stuff just in one set. Easy money. Just aim your wand. Conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh my advanced. goodness, what else can we do? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. 
Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Alter the balcony or the floor. Oh, cool. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance. Ambiance. Feng Shui. Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlight. I'd like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Oh, I know we're talking. Oh. Once I get furniture in here, I just chill out. Quite a difference. And screw the Gryffindor common rooms. Okay, come sleep here. Style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of room of pure Indeed. imagination. No how come much time with I me. Here, the room always I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do play a bit with this off camera. This is gonna be great fun. So we just get like room 2.0. Space. Wow. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh, heck yeah. Don't worry, I will be. Oh, this is ace. Excellent, it looks like we can just like customize everything. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. So happy. Right, do we have any quests now? I'll come back and do this. Oh, he's returned, he's returned. Let's go find him, shall we? Right, Professor Fig. Let me in. Oh, tons of Professor Fig's a bad guy. I was hoping to see you. Imagine the scenes. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> That must have been interesting, to say yes. the... Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did, and because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Oh, and it's this lobbed us right the here. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. 
I look forward to meeting him. How did this jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. What's interesting is it's got a flu power network specific point for it. To think it was beneath us all this time. Just like a giant pensive. I love the little details there as he's walking across. Makes little ripples under his feet. Yeah. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here. That the ancient magic forest. everywhere. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Wow. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of, of each of many, four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Mm. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. Making me jump the trials hoops. were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the That's wrong hands. They will test your abilities both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. <laughs> you will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. 
Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Hmm. Shall we have a look? May as well be a muggle, you, Professor Fig. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have Old seen tower. it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. I've not told anyone a single thing. <laughs> Cool. Alrighty, wow. Revelations, we're going to have to be doing uh, some trials by the looks of it. With the power of ancient magic. Can't really. There we go, I mean, let me go oh luckily we have a flu network right next to the tower so we're gonna leave it there and join me next time as we do the first trial and maybe i'll have decorated my room slightly pimped out thank you for watching see you